the next speaker is, uh, I'm going to be sorry, uh, Kobe Bullard. Perfect. Ah, thank you. <laughs> and the title is Case Study on Displayed Monoidal Categories. Hi, everyone. I'm uh, going to talk about joint work with uh, Benedict Arendt and Ralph Mattis on uh, displayed monoidal categories. And um, yeah, so what have we been doing in the last couple of months? We have been formalizing the, t uh, the notions of monoidal categories in Unimod. Um, in a library on top of COC, uh, but we'll, and we also uh, introduce the notion of displayed monoidal categories and monoidal sections in particular. Um, now, yeah, why uh, would this be interested? Why? Uh, what would be the motivation? Well, I think monoidal categories they just pop up almost uh, or in a lot of places. Um, and in computer science, they naturally form the categorical semantics or models of uh, linear type theories. Um, but they also form, or specific kind of monoidal categories, uh, form a model of computation, precisely because you have uh, not only sequential composition, but also parallel composition. Um, and well, our reason for being interested in monoidal categories is uh, technically rather complex. It was just, well, we just needed it somewhere. Um, and this was in the paper linked uh, below. So for those who are interested, you can look at there where they uh, pop up. So, but um, yeah, this story then started actually by trying to formalize a theory in this paper. Um, and, but we actually ran in a little bit of a problem. Um, there was already the notion of monoidal categories in Unimod, but yeah, it wasn't really, um, well, it wasn't really suitable for our usage. So yeah, I recall a, a monoidal category, in particular it is a tensor. It's usually represented as a bifunctor. Yeah, so, so a functor from the, uh, just from a product category. Now, if you want to formalize, um, well, yeah, in particular, if you want to reason about, uh, well, certain equalities, you have a lot of transportation lemmas. Now, as you can see here, it doesn't really matter what this uh, lemma says, but there is just yeah, a lot of these kind of lemmas which uh, pop, and it's actually made formalizing the theory of the dimension paper pretty um, difficult. There was even we wanted to construct like a uh, yeah a certain bijective correspondence between two uh, certain categorical notions, and actually in the paper it, this was uh, just conjectured because like one of the direction was doable, but because of these kind of nasty lemmas, uh, which all which we we'll had to find out. Um, we weren't able to show the uh, the other direction, and so yeah, as you can see here, the well the problem is actually that you um, yeah, so you you need to take projections yeah, be, um, precisely because your uh, domain consists of pairs of objects or pairs of morphisms. Now yeah, from a, um, now this can be easily be overcome if instead of just consider such a bifactor, uh, we just use the, um, yeah, we just go uh, uh, use currying uh, or the home tensor uh, junction. And so uh, what we did was we re, um, yeah, we reformalized the notion of monoidal categories using instead of like the bifunctor, um, just like this curried version. Now uh, here, uh, if you just go into a functor of yeah, like the uh, a category of endo functors, you do not have like a separation of data and properties. So what we did out is we really spelled out this definition without using then uh, the definition of the uh, functor category. Okay. Now, so this talk is about displayed monoidal categories. So maybe first a quick word about uh, monoid uh, about displayed categories. And so displayed category, it's a framework which allows you to build more let's say, complex categories from <coughs> more basic ones or yeah, more categories where objects have more structure. And so if you consider, for example, the category of uh, point sets, I mean, yeah, so the objects, it, con well, so it consists all, uh, of a pair of a set, yeah, so an object in the category of sets, and then uh, yeah, an element in the set. Now, if you want to show that this kind of data is a category, I mean, in essence, what you do is you say, well, set is a category, and then just like the so the constructions, like uh, or the, the composition or the identity, just preserve the required property. Yeah? So, and from a formalizing standpoint, um, yeah, it's not really 
nice to then really just copy paste like the proof of set being a category and but you, you want to have like a, a nice mechanical way where you only have to show that certain things preserve and this is precisely what displayed categories are for so yeah a displayed category it's over a category um, it just assigns to let's say each object in your category a certain uh, type of yeah of the data which you want to add and then for the morphisms you add uh, yeah the certain let's say the the Qualities or the things which you want to preserve, um, and so a display. And of course, you need then some uh, some extra laws and stuff. But um, the thing is, a displayed category itself it is not a category. But you do have, if you have a displayed category, you can always construct a canonical category, uh, which then precisely just um, you know, combines both the just the objects of your category and then this yeah newly added uh, data. And so, in particular, you always have a forgetful functor uh, just by projection on the first component. And so, yeah, so this is what uh, displayed categories are. And then, so a monoidal displayed category, it is precisely, um, yeah, it is actually just uh, let's say the same framework, uh, the same framework, but for doing um, for constructing monoidal categories. And so. If you consider, for example, the category of point set again, it's a Cartesian monoidal category. So yeah, it just, um, and it just, well, this structure is just the underlying, uh, let's say, tennis product of the category of sets, yeah, and just or just a Cartesian product. You yeah, just combine the two. And so, yeah, again, here you have that, um, yeah, here again, you use, again, that set is a Cartesian monoidal category. And so in that setting, uh, yeah, we also want to do the same thing. We don't want to uh, really explicitly say again, okay, set it's uh, monoidal, uh, course copy, paste, all the proof for that. And so uh, we then introduce the notion of uh, displayed, monoidal uh, displayed monoidal categories. And so yeah, it consists of uh, yeah, a couple of data, but in particular, a uh, notion of a displayed tensor. Uh, so this just, um, yeah. It just, let's say, formalizes just how the tensor product should carry over to, um, and, and the property should, yeah, should carry over to, in order for the, um, the total category, uh, which we already know just from the displayed categories, to, to get a canonical monoidal structure. <laughs> and in particular, what you also have is that then this forgetful functor now becomes strict monoidal. Okay. So well, we have developed in then or have formalized in Unimod then uh, the uh, library on monoidal categories, in particular also, uh, the displayed monoidal categories, and also um, well, what is called monoidal section. Uh, this just let's say studies sections of the forgetful uh, the forgetful functor. Um, well, we have yeah, um, we have yeah, constructed Cartesian monoidal categories. Uh, so given a Cartesian. Uh, just a Cartesian category. It always has a monoidal structure, so it becomes a monoidal category. Uh, then we have constructed particular examples like the category of pointed sets, and also yeah, sets with a binary operation. We constructed those as then total uh, as total categories. Uh, yeah, a more uh, even um, also a, a more general uh, example is the, the category of point endo functors, and we've also constructed this precisely. So, for example, that the category of pointed sets can be uh, defined in a more general way. Um, yeah, and then we have introduced these monoidal sections. Uh, we have showed uh, or constructed the correspondence between monoidal categories and one object by categories, um, and this. Uh, now this bijection, which I mentioned in the beginning, uh, this was able to, um, uh, and we were able to prove this. And then, uh, well, what is currently uh, in progress is that we are showing that uh, by category of univalent, monoidal categories is again univalent. Uh, and, um, and for and also for this, or especially for this last point, uh, for this construction of univalence, here is also where. Um, displayed categories are very useful eh, because um, if you have like really a lot of data i mean a, a, a monoidal category it is uh, moreover like the the unitors the associators and all those kind of stuff if you would want to show uh, univalence like everything you have to keep so many track of all these pieces of data and so with these displayed categories we can really um, we can always add a little bit more information which makes it uh, much more doable but uh, of course, here we do not use like just displayed categories, but then like a, a bi-categorical bi version of it. And uh, yeah, this was uh, my talk.
So yeah, uh, let's take a concrete problem. Take uh, delta, delta op, and uh, set. So mm -hmm. if you have a functor from delta op to set, you can construct the functor category set to the delta op, which is basically set delta, this, uh, the category of simplicial sets. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have a monoidal category, let's you start with a monoidal category. Do you define, now the way this is done is you have a functor from delta op to set, which is, uh, like it's a real functor so mm -hmm. you can prove that you know these two are categories they're they're actually categories because mm -hmm. if it's a functor then it has to be a category both sides have to be categories so in a monoidal category uh, to go from one monoidal category to another monoidal category you can have left lax monoidal functors and right yeah. lax monoidal functors mm -hmm. how does your formalization actually show that the monoidal structure is preserved at the same time I mean, have you used uh, this kind of, uh, I mean, what, what kind of formalization did you use for displayed categories? That's what I want to ask. Um, yeah, so did we, um, yeah, also, yeah, this also really, Mr. Price, as you say, we just started with uh, just also, let's say, just the, the, the leg structure. Uh, and then we have, yeah, just added some extra, yeah, axioms like strongness or st uh, strictness. Uh, conditions, or I mean, at least for the functors, but then just for, um, yeah, or just like that the yeah that the associator and stuff should be an isomorphism. We just um, yeah added this at the end, so that you have, let's say, and that for whatever reason you, you want to use like a weaker notion that you also have, uh, it's also available. Could you say something about this mysterious motivating application that you mentioned at some point in the footnote? Oh yeah, so um, yeah, the the paper uh, wh what it actually does is uh, it introduces uh, a notion of mul uh, a multi-sorted signature, uh, which um, yeah, also contains like a signature for the simply type lambda calculus. And for such an arbitrary signature, what we do is you actually construct just uh, a certain endofunctor, or, yeah, the category of endofunctors, in order to be able to interpret, um, to, to get like the functor, which um, you know, we just maps a set to all its, uh, its lambda terms. And you want to characterize those. And then if for that functor, you want to consider the initial F, uh, the initial F algebra. Now, the thing is just, just having this uh, algebra in itself is not enough. You also want to have like a substitution, for example, and uh, so you want to force a, a, a monad structure on there. Um, and for this, you uh, uh, we then use the, the notion of signatures with strength, and it is in um, and actually in there is an, uh, a related concept and just to also showing this uh, this relation. And that is why uh, we need it. So yeah, so it's a very yeah, specific uh, um, yeah, example <laughs> that, uh, that we need it for. Uh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, so you say that you are using uh, total displayed categories and also the, like the first projection from a total displayed category. But uh, but are you, do you need to use like other so, like uh, features from like this generic toolbox of displayed categories, like for example, reindexing of displayed categories or displayed mono monoidal categories? Uh, I'm not quite sure what you mean with uh, the re. <coughs> uh, what what do you mean with the reindexing? Uh, I mean, so like if you have a displayed monoidal category mm -hmm. over some monoidal category, mm -hmm. and then you have some morphism of monoidal categories, then you can essentially substitute the displayed uh, monoidal category so that you change the base of a displayed category. Oh, like this, um, yeah, we haven't, yeah, we haven't worked uh, that. Data. Okay. So, uh, I mean, yeah, we still, we still have, um, I mean, we're still also, yeah, working on like adding extra lemmas or certain, cons uh, certain constructions with uh, displayed monoidal categories. So that is definitely one thing that uh, will be interesting. Okay. okay. I 
I once tried to do a bit of category theory in Coq and very quickly gave up because you cannot rewrite up to associativity in a nice way. Did you encounter problems like this where you have to massage way more than you would have to massage on paper? Um, yeah, yeah, that definitely. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, yeah, but I think after, uh, I mean, you get used to it, uh, I think, pretty quickly. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. solution to this is to work with the strictification of the category which is equivalent so you just take uh, mor morphism you replace morphisms by uh, natural transformations between the yoneda embeddings of the mm -hmm. of the two objects and then you get an equivalent category and in in uh, unimath you can even prove that they are equal so. mm -hmm. yeah yeah uh, and and that that has strict associativity and strict identity laws so uh, by definition. No, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry? It works for every category. Yes, it works for every category. Yeah, I, I yeah, can, we can yeah, discuss, I can show okay. you. In fact, yeah. it's probably on the whiteboard. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let us thank the speaker. <laughs>